the summer, there's an air conditioner in one of the windows, just a window air conditioner. There's like the kind you see in apartment buildings? Yeah, really old and creaky, and it, it, um, it's not very efficient. Right. You know? Diane Beckett was inside 24 Sussex about 10 years ago. Even then, she says it was an energy-sucking dump. I was totally appalled. There was a cheap patio door with cheap plastic sheeting like you'd have at your cottage to try and keep the drafts down. The 147-year-old house is run down with drafts and 1950s wiring. The Auditor General has said repairs would cost $10 million and take a year and a half. It's in such bad shape, some think it should be torn down and rebuilt. But Beckett's group has launched an email campaign appealing to Justin Trudeau to turn it into a model of green efficiency. Oh, I think we could have the greenest official residence in the world. Beckett says they could set up a micro wind turbine in the backyard or solar panels on the roof to cut its energy use to zero. But experts say those aren't practical for the building's location. We need to be realistic about our hopes for 24 Sussex. Greg Installed Furlong specializes in, in energy retrofits. He says even simple devices like this pipe and, uh, that uses hot wastewater to heat cold water can reduce water. energy use. He says 24 Sussex can be improved with some strategic changes, like installing new windows and insulation top to bottom, putting in a geothermal system in the limestone under the house to heat or cool the building, setting up thermostat zones to control temperatures. Given the challenges involved in, in, in upgrading an old building like this, I would say that they could perhaps cut their energy use in half. It's not up to the Prime Minister, it's up to the National Capital Commission that says it's far too early to say what it will do. But it hasn't stopped the public from coming up with some ideas. Suggestions even include growing a vegetable garden and keeping chickens. Although it might not be the best way for the Trudeaus to meet their new neighbours. Marco McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.